Uh, am I doing this to camera or off camera? I think to camera. Yeah. On this one. No? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, fine. Um, right. So we've talked about the basic biomechanics, placing the blade, legs, body, arms, paint, forwards, and place. Now I just want to do a little bit more about the placement at this end. We've talked about the extraction being a little bit of a semicircle because we have to stop pulling on the handle, but the handle still moves as we take the blade out, then leading away, getting the body into position, then coming forward. So let's just think about this end though. If I was just sitting here doing my regular exercise and taking my strokes in the appropriate way, which as I would, you know, I'd keep the handle dropping down, coming forwards, placing that. I would reach the same extreme at this end on every stroke. You wouldn't be surprised to hear that because I'm quite consistent. So let's just imagine we put a little wall up here, which I'm going to touch each time that I take the stroke. Make sure it's a bit padded so I don't get my knuckles too worn. So I come forwards like this, touch the wall, and then come up again. Now, another thing is that we talked about the, the spoon and the blade and the sort of technology of the, of the oars. They are actually designed to float at the surface at the right angle and also because of their buoyancy they actually land at the right height so just at the surface so given that that is a consistent position then this height of my handle here will also be consistent i can come forwards here so let go of the handle it would be at the right height which in terms of my body is probably about where my sternum is of course it depends on how long your body is and how the boat is set up but essentially around about your solar plexus your sternum your chest bone there so I know that that is exactly where the handle should be rising to. So we have a wall. Why don't we put a little bit of a shelf on it and then I can come underneath against the wall, touch the shelf and know that's exactly where the handle is going to come back. As we know, absolutely horizontal and flat. So the use of this shelf is quite helpful in getting some sort of consistency. It's something you can learn while you're erging, while you're actually on the rowing machine, not in the water. That idea of finding the placement, finding the water as you arrive at the, a distance away. So you're going to come and arrive at the wall, underneath the shelf, place the blade, take the stroke. Okay, so now we have painting, putting the body over, coming forwards and placing underneath that shelf and coming back in this direction. And if you think about the shape of this placement here, it is, it's, it's sort of a quarter circle. It's a discontinuous line. It's certainly not halfway up and then come up underneath the shelf. I must get underneath the shelf against the wall. So it's a sort of a quarter circle like that, then coming flat back. This end a little bit more like a semicircle as I paint the line and get into position. That's the full biomechanics. Good, isn't it?